Okay guys, so mean well power supply. DC power supply. I like that name by the way, mean well. I got quite a few of those, this is only three of them. Uh, but I think they are pretty well built. Okay. So I could not find really decent uh, review on YouTube when I was looking for the first one. And I just want to see, for example, like the voltage uh, 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 how many volts you can get out of a 12 volt power supply right or 24 volt power supply just to charge the batteries for example so anyway let's let's get right into it so the 24 volt mean well power supply SP524 you're gonna get 23 amps out of it at 27.3 volts it will be the max volts okay pretty good for charging life of 4 batteries on 24 volt system and 23 amps is pretty good too so that's one of them another one is the model SP615 okay now this one you're gonna get 15 well actually that's the rating I'm sorry you're gonna get 17.92 volts max and 40 amps and you might even get more than 40 but you will definitely get 40 I don't remember I didn't write it down but I believe it was like 42 43 amps okay and I did not really use this one that much but the one that I use the most, and that's the one I'm going to talk about, is this one here. That is the model SP612. So it's pretty much a 12 volt power supply. And what you're going to get out of it, it's, uh, it's rated 50 amps at 12 volts, but you will get 13.9 volt max, which is fantastic. For charging charging the life pro for batteries, okay, 13.9. You don't have to go any any higher than that, and you will get. Actually, I'm gonna test this one, so we will see. But I believe you will get 54, 55 amps, okay. And these puppies, they actually work really well. Well, let's talk about this one because that's the one I tested most. I put it in work for about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven hours probably. Seven hours full load charging the LiPo 4 batteries. And I'll show it to you later. And it actually performed really well. The only problem that I have with this is that these terminals here are actually really cheap you got three terminals for minus three terminals for plus and if you're gonna draw 50 amps you better use all three terminals okay you can combine pretty much uh, like uh, what I've been using is this low voltage wire it's a 12-2 low voltage wire um, like for garden lights and you can combine three of these one on one terminal second one another terminal third one on this terminal so you will get this is uh, minus or plus I don't know whatever it is so you will, you will get three wires on minus like that and three wires on plus like that okay that would be probably the best way to run this 50 amp puppy even two wires like this meaning four of these okay would run 50 amp fine so because because uh, this is rated 20 amp uh, so anyway four of those will be in not 80 but will be close to 50 okay so 
That's that. I wish that these terminals were just a little bit better built. But let's get into the test. So here we have the mean well. It's uh, it's the uh, model SE612. So the maximum voltage you I can I can get out of this one is 13.9 volts. Okay, and I'm not going to check it right now. Just take my word for it. Um, even though it's uh, 12 volt, but the max I can get is 13.9, and I believe I got like 58 amps out of it last time when I checked. And uh, here we have the. Uh, I think somehow. Okay, uh, amp meter, clamp meter. And this is not plugged in yet, so I'm gonna plug it into the grid here, and let's see what we're gonna get out of it. Uh, okay, the voltage on the solar right now is uh, 13.22. Okay, so 13.9. That is a little bit different, so we should be able to get some something out of it if it's gonna charge all the way up to 13.9, right? So let's see. Zoom a little bit and let's plug this in. Okay, the fan immediately turns on. Now, the other fan that you can hear is this monster here. But I cannot shut it off because we would lose the lights here. That's the inverter. But we getting 57.4 amps right now. And that's with uh, the voltage being, of course, the voltage went up immediately 13.3334. Okay. And the batteries. So, at the voltage 13.33, we're getting 57 amps coming out. And, yes, this is not exactly 50 amp wire right here. But it will do for, uh, for a couple of minutes. And, of course, this is just a 30 amp wire that I have here on both sides. And I'm gonna let it run uh, for for a couple hours probably. I think if it runs for one hour at this amperage, then it's gonna be perfectly fine. Okay, and it's possible that the solar might actually recharge the batteries a little bit. So we'll see. Once we get to the 14 volts, it will probably stop charging. Not probably, but for sure. So one thing I want to say about this, this one here, that this this model is actually perfect for charging LiPo 4 batteries. If you have a solar system like me with LiPo 4 cells, okay, then. Uh, this is a perfect charger for those, just in case you run out of uh, <coughs> solar arrays. Uh, just because uh, it's coasting to four, close to four volts, I mean 14 volts, only cow get it right. Close to 14 volts and it will not overcharge the batteries, okay? 13.9 is plenty voltage. For life of four, you don't have to overfeed them like some uh, you know some people do 14.5 maybe even 15 volts I don't know but I keep mine down to max 14.2 okay I got uh, quite a few solo chargers I have two more upstairs 
So this one for example is set up for 14 volts, no more than 14, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, the one upstairs is set up for 14.2 and then the other one that I don't remember. But uh, you know you don't wanna you don't wanna really overcharge them because you're not gonna get much much more energy out of uh, out of these puppies when you go over 14 volts. There's like very little. It doesn't make sense to just uh, overcharge them so much. So you know, keep it up to 14. That's that's probably the best you can do. Otherwise, they will start swelling and you shortening the lifetime a lot if you charge them up too high okay so anyway let's see where we are right now we are at 56.7 let's have to read I guess the battery sucks puppy here so I'm gonna let it sit and uh, I'll come back to it in one hour Okay guys, so we are at 1398 on the solo right now, okay? And this is 13.9 volts. I think it's exactly 13.92. So if I plug this in, there should be barely any power coming in, okay? So I'm gonna plug it in right now. The mean well will turn on the fan right away and there is no power coming through okay so this is really safe for charging the life pole for batteries because right now 13.99 you can see it does not supply any power at all Alright. Okay guys, so I'm taking a little bit of chances here, but uh, I need to test this battery and uh, I thought maybe at the same time I'm going to test uh, the mean well power supply and that's the one that gives me 50 amps or more. And it's been running for about two hours actually, let's see right here. It's about two hours and two minutes. And it's been running uh, uh, actually here. It's been running 54.2 amps. At the beginning it was a little bit more, I believe 56 or so. Um, 54.2, okay. So, I can even check it with my anemometer, but uh, let me see. Just to be sure. Okay, let's throw it uh, one of these. Okay, 55. That's perfectly fine, doesn't have to be exactly perfect, yeah, 55. So about 55 amps for two hours, which is, uh, which is amazing. It's not getting hot, but it's blowing pretty warm air, okay? Now these connections here that I was worried about, I still have pretty much the same cables hooked up. I made really tight connections and the negative terminal, it's warm. The positive terminal, yes, it's, it's more than warm. So I would need a little bit better, better cable than this and use all three terminals here for a 50 amp 
and also all three terminals here and I would be okay but uh, these terminals are pretty cheesy so anyway um, I just want to show you that this thing uh, and it's it's warm barely warm but the air coming out of it is actually pretty warm so it's blowing the air out all the hot air so so far so good okay and I am charging this LiPo 4 here 180 amp each cell and uh, this is going to charge it up to 13.9 volts which is uh, perfectly fine right now I am at 103 amp hour I am actually testing these cells I just purchased them on eBay and uh, <laughs> this is funny also so so look at these these are open box these cells are actually open box in the listing it says it's an open box listing and it says they have been installed but removed immediately so they are very lightly used okay well I'm gonna find out how used they are and how much capacity there is left in them but anyway that's not about the batteries here so this is a good I have to say this is a the mean well power supply it's a really good power supply I hope it's not gonna let me down I don't have this for very long uh, this is actually <laughs> I had this only for a, only for about a couple of weeks and this is the very first time I'm using it uh, like this so I have to say so far so good um, I can talk uh, for a long run on these okay all right next time